year, we featured the Brevard Achievement Center as a part of our Getting Results Award coverage. The nonprofit helps adults with disabilities find jobs. Well, it turns out they do a whole lot more than that. News 6 anchor Julie Broughton took part in their annual Color in Motion Art Festival, an inclusive celebration of creativity, all new at 530. <laughs> So today we're at the Brevard Zoo and BAC is hosting our 39th annual Color and Motion Arts Festival. There are a lot of people here for this. There's a lot of people here for this, like this I said. It's packed. Yep. Once a year, the lush tropical landscape of the Brevard Zoo becomes a canvas for creativity. I've really had some fun doing this. You can actually decorate these painted rocks and you can pick whatever color. The Brevard Achievement Center played host to more than 1,100 students from exceptional education programs across the county. Look at it move. What is that? It's moving down in our water. It's cool. <laughs> so a lot of times students in our exceptional education programs, they are not necessarily excluded from field trips, but there's not a lot of accessible field trips that a lot of these students can actually go on. So by incorporating the zoo, they have a fully accessible field trip, but they also get to enjoy this amazing zoo that we have right here in our county. Yeah. Sure, the animals get a lot of attention, but the art is just as engaging. All right, you guys, march on. Cheryl Chamberlain is here with her ESE students from Bayside High School. They've been going from station to station, making bracelets, doing shooting stars, and they got those little backpacks that they're able to put all their little crafts in, which is really cool for us. <laughs> this is all about cutting new fat, meeting new um, people, making new friends. For me, this is one of our favorite, my favorite events of the year. Carrie Goff, the Brevard Achievement Center's Director of Community Relations, gave me a tour. So they're doing chalk stencils here, mm -hmm. um, and the, you'll notice the, uh, the chalks have handles on them so that, that way okay. they're more accessible. There were performances, visual arts displays, and interactive activities. So this would be an experience with the drums through music. Each school decorated these wind socks ahead of the event. All of these were presented to the students as just a plain white canvas. And as you've seen as we walk through, some of them are extremely elaborate. A celebration of art, nature, and the natural way we should all be able to enjoy them. I want to work myself right out of a job. I don't want to have to be out here advocating for individuals with disabilities. We want to see a world where our community is just adaptable and accessible and everybody can come out and share these immersive experiences. It's a fantastic way to get our students out of their shells and just celebrate their own personal creativity. Julie Broughton, Getting Results, News 6. If you know someone getting results, we want to know about them too. You can nominate someone you know by going to our website, clickorlando.com, in the top banner under Getting Results, you'll find the form. Just fill it out and you might see them featured here in the coming weeks. Looks like a fantastic event. A it lot of It really smiles. does. And I love that they use the Brevard Zoo as a backdrop for all of that creativity. I mean, yeah. what a great place, a fun place for all those right. students to go and then to see all of that amazing artwork. You're going to have fun either yeah. way. 